Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Hopefully, it's a good and fun day of content on FIFA Ultimate Team because it is a big day IRL for football because Champions League is back today and we are excited and stoked about that. Now, the Europa League games finished yesterday. We'll talk about those cards. I'm going to talk about these cards right here. These Europa League Road to the Finals, Champions League Road to the Finals, um, other stuff that happened yesterday with the content, the 86 player pick pack that came out. Uh, I want to talk about the upgrades for Martial, for Handanovic, uh, and for the other items that are going to be getting upgraded very soon. It might be upgraded by the time you watch this video. Um, hopefully they are. Diego Carlos getting an upgrade as well. I think I got them all, right? Um, oh, Wendell, the left back, is going to get upgraded. Diego Carlos. Um, Leverkusen, Wendell, I said that already. Uh, Martial, and then Jimenez. Jimenez is the other one that's getting upgraded. So GG's, if you have a Europa League road to the final card that is getting upgraded, that is a dub. Congrats. They have not been updated just yet. Usually what they do is, if I remember correctly, these cards are probably going to get upgraded at some point, uh, I think today, like on Friday, if they're not upgraded already, because I don't think they wait until the end of the Champions League games. Maybe they do. Maybe they upgrade these cards all at the same time, and we're not going to see the actual upgrades until Saturday night. So it's either going to be they upgrade the Europa League cards separately, or they're, they're going to upgrade them all at the same time. It's been so long since we had Champions League upgrades on Road to the Finals that I honestly forget. So that's something to, that's kind of like our couple options, I guess you could say, as to... Um, one of these cards are going to get upgraded. I'm watching them very closely tonight because I think it's possible since the Europa League games are done, they could open or they could upgrade the Europa League cards. Just my opinion with that right there. So just keep an eye on those. Now, what's going to happen when they get upgraded? Of course, guys like Martial, if we take a look at this guy on Footbin, um, Martial's price is still inflated. And a lot of people have bought this card up and it's, it's his price has gone up because... They know he's getting that 91 overall upgrade. Now, what happened on Wednesday when United played? He went from 200,000 coins to 250. Post game, he dropped back down to 225. Uh, he was even like 220s during the day today, and now he's kind of maybe trickling back up as he gets nearer and nearer to that upgrade um, to about 240, 250k. I expect upon the upgrade of Martial, I do think he will go down a little bit in price. I honestly think that's that is what's going to happen, just because I don't know if there's a little bit of hype for Martial. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I just don't know how much hype there actually is for this card right here. Now a guy like Handanovic. These are the ones that I would stay away from, and I would say you probably don't want to touch because Handanovich's card is basically extinct at 100,000 coins, and his 84, which is also 100,000 coins, uh, has a higher price range, and it's still, obviously, this card's in packs right now, but a 170 price range. I know this card is still live, so technically, this could eventually go to a 95 if Inter keep winning, which they very well could. But until, I honestly don't think you want to buy this card at the price range update once he gets upgraded since the team of the season, which is probably going to have the exact same stats as this one. Maybe the handling handling will be a bit different. Um, but I do expect maybe some of these cards could actually go down a little bit in price. Uh, Wendell is another one that people have invested in. Just be careful with these, right? If they're up a lot already, you might just want to take the profit. 56k for a Wendell after he was 11,000 coins and basically discard um that's just crazy he was even 40k rose up a lot into to wednesday and into today it was 60k so just be kind of careful with this because a lot of people have invested in these and right now there's just not a ton of hype in this game for a lot of cards so you know i could see some of them going up i honestly think they'll have more of a shot to go down though in price um today so that's enough talk about that we have champions league that is coming today and that's the other thing i want to talk about alongside of the foot content that we could see today. There's a couple things in FIFA that we could see content wise. So we'll take a break and talk about that just now. A couple things that we have not seen yet, right? Champions League summer showdown matches. Now we have we have games today, right? We have Real Madrid playing today against City, and we also have Juventus and Lyon. Both are big games with aggregate score lines that are neck and neck. It's going to be a close one. Supposedly Real Madrid is without um they are without Ramos, so that's kind of a blow to them and to their squad. But uh, the Juve and Lyon game is one that I'm a bit interested in because... How much is this Dybala card now? No shot, dude. Dybala is 200,000 coins. I'm pretty sure his team of the season card is right in that range as well. Okay, it's actually gone up a little bit. But this guy was 150k during the week last week. 
Um, yes, his, his team of the season card is an upgraded four star weak foot, but this one's going to get upgraded to a 94. If Juventus can pull through and go on to the quarterfinals, it's going to get upgraded. It's just going to happen like these, these, uh, Europa League cards, right? They're just going to keep trickling up in price. They're up, they're up, they're up. If they don't get upgraded and if their team loses, you're going to see them drop. That's when, that is what's going to happen with a guy like Depay. Now we haven't seen the drops really that much on some of these cards, but a Depay card like this one is definitely going to drop tomorrow if they do not win. Now, if they do win, you'll probably see him go up because his team of the season card is like, what, 94 rated? So there's a decent amount of gap between those two. And uh, this one is how much? 100, 120, 130,000 coins. And that other uh, road to the final Depay was like, what, 80K? 90,000 coins? So honestly, that's not that big of a difference gap. 85,000 coins for this. So, you know, I'm just, there's these cards are so rare. Yes, they're going to probably trickle up a bit more, but I would honestly sell in the game if there's any hype. If Juventus would score a goal, then maybe Dybala shoots up a bit. I would just sell in the hype like that and not have to worry about the end of the game if you're somebody who's trying to make coins off of some of those. Now, again, I mentioned a summer showdown SBC that could probably come out today. I feel like that timeline is really, really short, though. I feel like the timeline's really, really short to put out an SBC for a summer showdown or a Champions League showdown like the day of or the day before a game would start. So I honestly don't think we're going to see that for this week's game. They might be waiting to do a summer showdown until the quarterfinals are set because those games are going to be played next week on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There's one game each day. And it would be my bet that one of those days would be a summer showdown SBC that we would see in FIFA Ultimate Team. This is what I want to talk about next. Ansu Fati and Semedo are both expiring in 15 hours. This makes me think we're going to get another objective today. Could it be the long anticipated and long awaited, the leaked, the one who was wanted by everybody, especially GGMU Manchester United fans? Could it be Mason Greenwood today in objectives as a Europa League road to the final upgradable card or just like some sort of um, Greenwood objective or SBC today if there's any day that that card since it's been leaked so much and people have been talking about it for days like almost a week to be honest with you if there's any day where that card is going to come today is the day so get your Mason Greenwood hype ready I guess if that's something that you're interested in that is a card that could possibly come today other than that I honestly don't know what's going to happen today now, if you remember back on the loading screens, right, we had on the old like promo screens that were leading up to the start of the preseason promo, we had um, coordinates for the Allianz Arena and for Stanford Bridge. Those are coordinates that were both on the loading screen. We haven't seen anything related to transfers just yet. Maybe this week, since UCL is in full swing, they don't have to keep putting out these road to the final cards. Maybe this week we're finally going to see them release some content related to top transfers and something else in this in this promo right please i beg ea sports um to release some sort of repeatable sbc and a tots upgrade repeatable sbc let us have fun with these 81 plus double upgrades i beg all right i beg i beg i beg please let us do some of that because these are still here for nine days right nine ten days so plenty of time for upgrade packs icon packs as well still here for nine days uh, and we did get the Joe Bryan SBC today. So that's a W if any of you guys wanted that card craftable, of course, but I'm not going to craft anything until I see, um, you know, another repeatable SBC that I can grind and put those 82, 83, 84s in. Honestly, that's what I'm really looking for. Halftime challenges probably going to come out today during champions league and on Saturday. So be on the lookouts for those. There was one other thing that I was thinking about that I haven't mentioned yet, and I don't know what it was. And I'm trying to remember what that was. Oh, we have to talk about informs, man. Yo, yo, yo. Informs have gone absolutely crazy because of the 86 player pick because team of the seasons are no longer supplied. Informs are no longer in packs. Team of the week moments are no longer in packs. These informs right now on the market are literally like 40, 50,000 coins, and they're only popping up at 30K because that's where their price range maxes are. That's that's where their max prices are for a lot of these informs, I believe. That's why you see them pop up at 30,000 coins. Uh, but if you actually want to buy one off the market, you're going to have to pay 50K. 50K for an inform. In incredible now if you're somebody who's got like a bot and short foots and stuff then you can probably try to snipe some of these informs at 30k good luck you're not going to win any of them let me tell you they're going to be so hard to win but 
Um, a lot of these guys have max prices at 30K. So people are just clearing out your clubs. If you have informs in your club, I please, I beg you, clear your club of informs because these cards are going to drop back down a decent amount in price. They are going to drop a little bit just because um, of the demand for that 86 SPC is going to go away. And until EA starts supplying or just not requiring these informs, um, they're going to stay decently high, right? Because there's no supply for these on the market. That's why they've gone crazy, crazy, crazy in price. And that's why you're seeing a lot of this stuff, right? Even even this, even this uh, Hendo, right? 45K getting insta binned for an Inform 85 rated Henderson. This was an incredible investment if you bought any of these when they were low. I know we haven't talked about club stocking discard Informs for a long time, um, but with all the SBCs that we've seen this year, if you did that at some point, and if you have some in your club still, take the cash because that was a big time GG. I know some people made a lot on those, um, but... That was just something that, you know, I don't think EA thinks about those things often. When they release an SBC, they're like, oh, we're going to release an SBC that these guys want, make them happy, you know, and stuff like that. And then they forget about what the requirements do to the market. And it makes informs like that go crazy, crazy sky high. And you see a lot of stuff go wrong in the game. And a lot of people get upset with some of that stuff as well, just because it's hard to go buy a 30,000 coin inform to do an 86 uh, player pick SBC, which by the way, those are kind of cracked today. I got Gomez, team that's using uh, Alejandro Gomez out of my player picks. So that was kind of dope. Um, but yeah, boys, it is a Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team with the content. Uh, again, Champions League games today. We talked about that at the beginning. Just stay chill with these. The, you know, if you've got a card, just sell it during the game is honestly what I would say to you. Will we get a summer show on SBC today? I do not know about that. I hope we do. And hopefully today is a day where the content just like turns a corner, right? Because this first week, yeah, we've had we've kind of had some cool SBCs, right? The 89 double plus, the um the 86 player pick, right? I want to show you one thing that I do think is coming out today, right here. Uh I think this is going to be coming out today. This lone icons player pack. Last Friday, we had a five team of the year loan, right? The new SBC, they're probably going to put out a new objective today. You're going to have to use the lone icon moments that you get from this pack to complete whatever it is, whatever objective it is in foot that will be unlockable, unlocking an item for FIFA 21. So I think since this preseason objective goes away in 15 hours, if you have not got your coin boost yet, which I haven't even got my coin boost yet, which I probably should do, because that will give me an extra 2,500 coins at the beginning of FIFA for what it's worth uh, and a 50K pack now. But uh, if you have not done this one yet, get involved with this. And there's probably going to be a new one today involving those lone icon moments. That's what I'm expecting, at least from that sort of range, that sort of thing with objectives. So objectives might see a big change, right? Maybe a new preseason objective, maybe a new player in here, and hopefully some sort of repeatable, grindable, TOTS upgrade SBC, I beg ea sports for the content today and probably a halftime champions league sbc as well um and hopefully like a summer showdown or a tro top transfer or just just something man come on ea sports log us a bone today man throw us a bone let us have some fun in this game hopefully you turn the content around we've been telling you all week that we want more content in sbcs something repeatable is we come after this summer heat promo that was so good. There was always stuff to grind in packs. And then we take this huge dip down. The content has just been meh. There's nothing really grindable. It's just kind of, you know, one thing here, one thing there, right? Prices are going crazy high in the market because of those SBCs that are coming out. Please, EA Sports, let us have a repeatable TOTS upgrade. The Any TOTS or the 90 Plus, release that with the same requirements and make it repeatable. And I will sit here and go 81 Plus packs and have fun and grind those cards and grind icon upgrades and complete all these other SBCs through crafting and rinsing my account of coins, all right? I know you probably don't care about this anymore. Maybe you do. Maybe you're trying to rinse coins off the market still in August. Uh, but EA, please release that today. We'd be very, very happy if you did. So that's honestly the video today, boys. We're probably going to be seeing some UCL content. Hopefully preseason takes a turn for the better today. And good luck if your team is playing in Champions League today or tomorrow. It's going to be fun to have Champions League back. I'm very excited to watch some of those games uh, and just kind of have Champions League hype back in August. It's weird to have Champions League in August. But the fact that we have football in August, uh, these teams playing in August with on this type of stage, 
uh, I think we can all uh, realize that that's something that we can't just take for granted. We have to savor it. We have to enjoy it and watch those football games uh, because it is Champions League. It is the big stage and it's going to be fun. All right, boys, thanks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.